it's Liam Rezaia here, and this is part four of MacGyver style moves. And so what are we going to be talking about in part four? Well, specifically, we're going to be talking about the arterial line, but not just arterial line waveforms, but specifically the arterial line waveform during chest compressions in patients with cardiac arrest. Now, typically, we're trying to optimize our CPR to achieve a particular diastolic blood pressure. This is usually 30 to 35 millimeters of mercury. Why 30 to 35 millimeters of mercury and why diastole? Because this is when we're perfusing the coronaries and the brain. And the AHA actually states that if we are using an arterial line to help optimize our CPR, these are the pressures we should be targeting to ensure that adequate perfusion. So here's a typical waveform from an A-line. I think most of us recognize this. And the way the machine reads this is that the top of the waveform ends up being the systolic blood pressure and the bottom of the waveform ends up being the diastolic blood pressure. This is great in a patient who we're not doing compressions in. And here you can see a typical waveform and again, top line systolic blood pressure, bottom line diastolic blood pressure. But what happens in a patient when we're doing compressions? The waveform looks different. There's a gray arrow here pointing to a red line, and I'll come back to that in just a second. So at the top of this waveform, that's our systolic blood pressure, that's great. But the bottom of this waveform is actually the negative intrathoracic pressure from recoil from the chest compression, letting up off the chest. What we actually wanna be targeting is this line above this shaded red area. This is the little dip right before we go into our compression because all this other stuff below, it is incorrect, but the machine doesn't know that and it reads this as the diastolic pressure. So what we want to target is this little notch right before we go into our compression. That is actually the diastolic pressure that we're trying to target. This is a really subtle, nuanced, but very important concept to understand. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for tuning in.